Hey guys, welcome back to the video. So in this video, we'll be talking about sequence file formats. So we'll just start off from where we left in the last video. So let's just get started with this. So uh, talking about some of the GBank sequence submission policies. So these are some of the important policies that we need to look uh, for submitting any of the sequences in these gene bank uh, databases. So gene bank accepts only DNA and RNA sequences and have uh, and that have been sequenced by the submitter. So who, whosoever is submitting needs to be sequenced and that sequence must be of any DNA or RNA. And at this time, the following types of submissions are not acceptable. So this is to be remembered such as a sequence of less than 50 BP or base pairs in length are not allowed. And a, sequ and a genomic sequence of multiple axons joined together without the sequence of the intervening introns is not allowed. All right, so moving on with this. So these are some of the policies that I told you. So these are something very much uh, necessary for uh, whenever you submit any of the sequences. So moving on with that. So, uh, so continuation of that, uh, that only primer sequence, only protein sequences are not allowed. So these are something that which is not allowed, which is not allowed both of these are sequences containing a mix of genomic and mRNA sequences represented as single sequences are not allowed either as well. Also express sequences tag which is EST submission should be submitted through DBEST system. So DBEST is a different system and it is not uh, allowed through the system, not allowed through genomic databases. Also genomics uh, survey sequences submission should be submitted through again DB. This is GSS system and not again through genomic databases. So these are where some more of the policies and rules designed by them. So these are something that we need to abide by to submit for submitting any sequence. Uh, also now coming to submissions to GeneBank. So how can we submit sequences to GeneBank? So there are two sources in NCBI for sequence submission. So NCBI is something that we all are familiar. So if you are not, uh, I have discussed in my previous videos, you can go and check it out. So NCBI is something that uh, there are two sources present in NCBI for sequence submissions, which are, are which are Bankit and Sequin. All right. So these two are sources from where we can submit sequences to GeneBank. Also, the triple W based submission tool called Bankit for convenient and quick submissions of sequence data. All right. So this is a triple W uh, based submission tool, which is Bankit for quick and convenient submission of sequence data. Also talking about sequence, which is NCBI standalone submission software for Mac, PC, uh, Unix platform is available by FTP. Also, when using sequence, the output files for direct submission should be sent to GeneBank by electronic mail. So this is a easier method as compared to Bankit. So this is yeah, definitely an easier method. So we must focus on this or uh, rather on Bankit. So definitely, but uh, it's uh, on your ease or convenience. We can use either of the two. Also, there are specialized streamlined procedures for bad submissions of sequences such as ESTs, STS and GSS sequences. So these are some other type of sequences you can you may go to NCBI, uh, NCBI's website and explore as much things you can. So you can you will get all of these things as I've discussed and also in my previous videos. So moving on with in this. So use bank it if so there are some of the conditions uh, for your convenience only. So use bank it only if you have one or few sequence submissions, not much. Also use, uh, prefer to use a w, triple W based submission tool. So these are their number of triple, B, triple W based submission tool and NCBI. So you may prefer to use them. Also your sequence annotation is not complicated. Your uh, annotations and everything should not be complicated. It should be as simple as possible. And you do not require sequence analysis tool to submit your students. Uh, submit your sequence so if your sequence is not very much complicated definitely you do not need any sort of analysis tool to submit your sequences so there so uh, whenever your sequence fall under these rules please your prayer uh, ask to use bank it so with this uh, this is the page that you can see all right, so I have taken a screenshot out of it. This is an old picture, definitely. So you can, there's the link as you can see. 
So you can just go to this link and you just see this page. All right. So these are submission tools by Triple W. So these are preferable to use Triple W. Also, you can see use Bankit. Also, uh, there are some of the things use Bankit when and when to use sequence. So for sequence, you are submit you are submitting tool submitting long and complex sequences. Remember, not as simple for Bankit. And you are submitting mutations of phylogenetic population environmental or segmented sets. Also, you you would like to graphically viewing and editing options including the alignment editor. Also, you need the use of analysis tool to submit any sort of sequence while using sequence. So moving on with that. So these are some more things of uh, gene bank submission by W Triple W. So I have provided you the screenshot. So this is how it looks. Uh, you may just pause the page and just uh, read down these things uh, to get the entire point of view of this. Uh, all of the mentioned theoretical stuff that I told you. So you can just check this out. So this is easy. Gene bank provides annotation, example, description for several types of sequence and submissions. Also to prepare a new uh, gene bank submission, enter the size in the nucleotide of your contiguous sequence. Here it's one four one double four nine and press new. All right. For each submission, uh, complete submissions, you will receive an you will receive the email by following an automated preliminary gene bank flat file, incorporating the information about a sequence as you have submitted it to us. Also, a gene bank accession number, which is very important to differentiate uh, between sequences, and a completed gene uh, gene bank flat file processed by a member of our gene bank annotation staff. All right. So these were some of the rules that are associated with gene bank submission by Triple W. So moving on for uh, these are some of the details that you need to fill in for your submission, so that you will receive on your email or any other information that you share here. These are some of the additional information. So any additional features such as coding region, structure, RNA should be added on the next page after you validate and continue below. All right. So these are the sequences length in nucleotides. So this is something that you need to add definitely and enter any other biological information for the for which there is no place in on the form or any pertinent instruction that will help gene bank annotators process your submission in the field. So Feel, uh, so you can add necessary information that uh, that has no sort of uh, regions present in the form. Uh, you can write it uh, as much information you uh, think that is uh, that should be sufficient. You may write it on the gene bank annotators process on a submission form. So this is what it is. So moving on with. So these are some of it. They, uh, click on the underlined reference for error or warning location. So this is another screenshot taken from the bank itself. So. So these are submissions by Triple W. So these are some of the uh, two errors that that can be made. So you may click on this uh, or this to so get your to fix the error notice. So just correct the information in the below and press validate and continue. So this is as simple as that. So there is nothing to explain this. So it's uh, pretty much simple, I guess. On with this. So also uh, there is a clear. I've written another slide made for this for a clear understanding for sequence. So you are submitting long and complex CS submission that said before, and you are submitting mutation, phylogenetic population, uh, population environmental or segmented sets, and you like uh, you like graphical viewing and editing options, including the alignment editor, and you like uh, you like uh, network access to related analytical tools. Definitely, you need analytical tools while submitting long or complex submissions. So moving on with. So what is a sequence? So this uh, this is uh, this is the one I forgot to tell you. So let me tell you, a uh, sequence is a standalone software tool developed by the NCBI for submitting and updating entries to the gene bank, uh, EMBL and DDBJ uh, sequences database. So these all three are related to nucleotide databases, as uh, as I've said in the my first or second video of biological databases. So. Uh, these are something very important and it is in, uh, capable of handling simple submissions that contain single short mRNA sequences. So these are uh, definitely it is simple submission here means that it definitely can take complex uh, sequences uh, as sequences made for that. Uh, also it uses analytical tools for identifying all of its uh, sequences so that it can submit to gene bank. Also complex submissions containing long sequences, multiple annotations can be are allowed. Also, segmented sets of DNA and phylogenetic population studies are done. Also, sequence 7.00 is currently available from the NCBI. It's very important. 
and sequence runs on Macintosh, PC, Windows, and Unix computers. It's uh, compatible on any operating system. Uh, this is another database that is very important that, uh, that I need to discuss this Sakura. So Sakura is a nucleotide uh, sequence data submission system through the WWW server at TTPJ. Also, Sakura has been open to public and continuously refined since 1995. Also, using the system, you can uh, inter interactively enter and submit sequences, nucleotide and translated amino acid sequences, function and features of sequences and references uh, as your name, affiliation, address. So this is simple as uh, other servers as well. This is another server. This is which is known as Sakura. Is a nucleotide sequence data submission system as well. All right. This is another submission system just like Sequin and Banquet. Also, modification data is uh, Sakura only accepts new submission. This is very important. This is uh, only accept new submission. You cannot accept the modification request before they assign your you your accession number except for the following three cases. So you cannot submit uh, accept the uh, modification request before they assign you your accession number. All right. So before you submit, you need to get your accession number to submit your sequences. And there are three reasons for which you won't receive your accession number which is cancellation of submitted sequences and uh, also sequence error also wrongly choosing so immediate release which causes also one more thing that i told uh, that i made a mistake is that you can accept, submit the sequence but you cannot modify it okay so you cannot accept the modification request or cannot modify the sequence before you receive the accession number for it so if in case you don't receive the accession number there are three possibilities for which you do not may receive the accession number so you may check through all of these reasons that's it from the video thanks for watching stay tuned for more